Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're back with another episode of Field of Glory Kingdoms. We are still working through the tutorials. So, so thanks for joining me back on my channel as we get involved in uh, continuing these tutorials. This game was designed by Ajod and published by Slytherin. So uh, let's go ahead and load. And we're going to load this right here. The last time we had a little bit of trouble getting back to get the tutorial to run. So we'll see what's going to happen this time. We may have to go back out and start from a previous save just to get to where we want to be. Okay, here we go. I think we're picking up right now perfectly. Uh, I had skipped a little bit in there because I had to refight the battle. but. Uh, so if it seems a little skippy at that point, that's only because I did have to restore from just before the battle and then fight the battle real quick and then get to this point. So, as you have noticed, uh, Tulia now appears with stripes. If you say so, I'm not seeing stripes, but uh featuring both your nation's color and the green of saragossa this indicates that the region is under your military control you can control it de facto but legally de jure you are not yet the owner there are two ways to resolve this situation the first is to conquer the entire nation, at which point you legitimately gain control of their regions as the nation ceases to exist. The second option, because I have to do a lot of reading, I'll be taking some sips here. Um, let's see, the second option, uh, only, often the only viable one is to negotiate a peace deal where you trade a war score points accumulated through battles and controlling enemy regions for legal ownership of those regions. Let's explore this option of peace by checking the diplomacy interface. Although we won, we won't finalize, I'm sorry, although we won't finalize any deals this turn. Please click on the blue button representing the handshake in the upper left corner of the regions panel. Okay. You select the region and we get the regions panel and to diplomacy okay let's get that out of the way after clicking on the diplomacy button you initially see the diplomacy panel uh, how do we know it's the diplomacy panel here folks let's take a look just the mic there a little bit um guess we just that's just what the panel looks like so let's see if we hover over it to tell us does not tell me what it is okay uh, well diplomacy plays a significant role in the game and your relationships with other nations will largely determine what you can gain from them during peacetime to improve relations in peace consider making reasonable and mutually beneficial transactions sending gifts or entering into cooperative treaties this will pave the way for more substantial and binding agreements like passage rights, vassalage, and alliances. In times of war, the currency for negotiations is war score. Let's see, do we have war score here? This is authority. Let's see here, uh, war score. looking to see if we see war score okay which reflects your success in the conflict to explore how to negotiate click the symbol Saragossa no, it's Zagosa this is well under the war labels yeah and then click on the peace button you'll see in the new panel okay Okay, war score, there it is, and war score, minus one, okay. And then click peace button on the new panel, okay. Ask peace, you want to settle peace with the other nations. They have a few turns to accept or reject your offer. 
base except chances only 12 percent relationship of minus 11 well we just kind of kick their butts but uh defensive war we are overstretched 20 percent relation power duration non-faithful party pop causes and more score final peace chance 30 so all of these are added together to give us our final peace chance okay uh, on the peace button you will see a new panel okay good the peace negotiations function similarly to a transaction during peacetime it is essentially a barter system where the victor uses war score points to gain concessions from the defeated you can hover over uh the percent chance of success to understand the breakdown of percentages all right all right we've already done that use the question mark for more details on each possible clause okay and okay that tells us exactly everything we need to know ownership war score war score reflects your relative progress in the war losses of units and territory will add or subtract from this to the end and you will see war score as currency at the subsequent peace negotiations peace treaty okay transaction clauses accepting and offering military units will always cost both sides from national authority okay let's close that two important points to consider when negotiating peace first any region you occupy but don't acquire in a peace deal will revert it to its original owner. Second, leaving a few war score points unspent on your side can generate goodwill for future interactions. Oh, that said, we won't be making peace today. To cancel the deal, close all uh, diplomatic panels and discard changes and then select uh, to be uh, again. Okay. So we want to select two again. Uh, discard changes. Okay. All right, and we want to select Julia again. All right. There we go. All right. One issue with military conquest is that the local population tends to be rest. As indicated by the loyalty marker, let's see here, loyalty, religion, culture, population, infrastructure, manpower, money, equipment, piety, and stewardship. All right, where is the, indicated by the loyalty marker for two, okay. Base loyalty 66 from the population, piety, religion revolt zero okay wow you don't have to worry about revolts in this tutorial it's something to plan for in a real game low loyalty is partly due to the war occupied modifier visible at the top right of the panel all right as well as the differences in religion here's the just conquered this region has been conquered and suffered a major loss of loyalty while infrastructure commerce and stewardship were drastically reduced okay so if we look at that i'm guessing duration would be four turns okay over time you can improve loyalty by converting the population to your religion and culture but this will require building piety and stewardship structures in summary it is wise to consolidate your gains establish garrisons and avoid protracted military campaigns for now let's advance towards the capital of saragossa please order your army to move east to the next border region and then click in turn okay Let's check my army. Okay. I click end turn.
Okay, many nations can transform with another within a specific culture group. For example, groups include France, England, Cordoba, and others, Italy, and Catholic Spain are exceptions to the rule. Okay, Lyon, legacy points, we're 10th, uh, but we're second in authority and disorder rankings. Okay. Check. We're in turn six. Okay. Siege and assaults. Our army has arrived at Saragossa, but the situation is quite different here than in the weak region of uh, Tulia we captured. The capital region supports a hill fort providing a walled compound for the defenders. It means that even if you beat the Even if you beat the field army of Saragossa, as this is the tutorial, we won't have any. The defenders can still prevent the capture of the region by staying safe behind the walls. Let's see that. Ah, let's see that more in detail. Check it. Let's see that more in detail. Please click the region of Saragossa. Okay. New son, I'm having sons and I'm out on the battlefield. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Alright, Leon, Dynasty 817. Probably look and see. Catholic uh, ports legacy falling behind leading Sevilla okay yeah overview claims uh, okay 40 look on him unknown ability age zero just born age one And age 14, and then we have noble concubine, <laughs> age 24, okay, what do we have here, uh, another concubine, no, age 29, he's a busy man, okay, ruling since 31, 15 years, okay, uh, Ruling since 31 turns, 15 years. Okay, age 30. Located in Zaragoza, offensive rating defensive. And spouse, very good, age 29. Loyalty. 53, 61, 73. She's extremely loyal. He's a cruel person. I'm just looking at these because we can't firebrand, hampered. Merchants, advantages, recruiter, sister. guys don't have any loyalty ratings this guy is a recruiter okay well let's close that and get on okay um, mini panel pops up you can move around as needed in the case the region is under siege okay let's uh, close that okay it's besieged mini panel pops up you can move it around indicates that the region is under siege it is important information with accompanying tool tips okay first it shows the number of breaches of the fortification we can withstand okay unbreached walls three of three okay 
until you create as many breaches as the defender has wall levels any assault will be perilous due to the defender's significant defensive bonuses okay second if you see various modifiers ex affecting the siege resistance of the defender summary of the siege resistive structures summary of siege resisted defenders defender has no leader uh defense overcrowding penalty defending armies larger than the frontage of the region's city background will receive a penalty uh, okay we have limited sum of attacking units under siege the value of the attacking units okay second you'll see various modifiers affecting the siege resistance of the defenders depending on those values a siege could be resolved quickly or take an extended period each turn a siege can result in several different outcomes nothing happens the defender suffers attrition a wall is breached a wall is repaired or the defender surrenders but it's not all bad news for us even if our army isn't ideally suited for an effective siege please click on your army in saragossa uh, to dive to delve deeper into the intricacies of siege warfare Click on our army. Okay. Even if you had previous victories, your army may still have some weakened units. As mentioned earlier, to retain effectiveness, your troops need to be be a supplied area. And currently, we're in enemy territory. Ulia is not equipped to sustain us with its limited food productions. Regarding our army composition, knights and clumsy spearmen may not be the most effective units for a siege. What do we have here? Early spearmen, knights, slingers, peasant militia, okay. Ranging troops like archers and light infantry. Ranged troops, sorry like archers and lighter infantry would be more effective well these are ranged unit however as we've noted it's not all doom and gloom the enemy is under siege and will gradually weaken especially as their food stockpiles dwindle to zero leading to starvation with the region under occupation its production is significantly reduced so time could be on your side that said you've heard that El Cid is willing to lend a hand. Let's click on end turn to see what he has in mind. Right? Okay. Tokens, we get three progress tokens. Build 10. Uh, you can appoint male characters as potential governors known as peers of the realm. They can still lead armies unless they are clergymen. However, their governance is less effective when leading armies outside their province. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, El Cid, or one of his lieutenants, has arrived before the walls of Saragossa. Complete with siege engines. Please click on the region of Saragossa to see what is happening. As you see, the estimated duration of the siege has changed significantly. This is partly due to the siege engine that El Cid has brought. They offer significant bonuses against walls, but are hard to acquire. Typically, you'll tip the scales with more common units like archers and light or medium infantry. Even peasants can be useful here. After all, the more hands you have, the quicker you can dig tunnels, fill moats, and haul extra boulders. The Siege mini panel now shows that all walls are breached. Yep. This is the perfect time to launch an assault. Please click on your army. I'm going to click on El Cid. 
Let's just see what his army has. Oh yes, there's the siege. Troubleshay. Yep, he brought four troubleshays. Okay, cool. Click on our army. Okay, your army now has a much better chance of storming Saragossa as all the walls have been breached. A breach also provides a more modest defensive bonus for the besieged. Depending on what type of keep or castle, they can sustain a uh, varying number of breaches, offer a modest or large defensive bonus, and have a large or small frontage. Last but not least, the relation uh, uh, relative to our situation, El Cid's army might decide to join you in the upcoming battle. Be sure the assault button of your army is selected. Assault button, yes, it is. Highlight it. Click on it if need be, then click and turn. Okay, that would be the assaults. what they got and that should be my El Cid right there so I just want to check something if we click here bring this up now if I click on my army I get everyone that is there okay perfect click the end turn now do I get to see besieged plus 50 Siege will be quick, unbreached, zero, garrison, POWs, 30. Okay, force track, all right. I only had there. Well, the season Saragos of Leon did not manage to inflict casualties on the defender. Okay. We'll take the turn. Okay, now we have terrain, rubbles, frontage seven, Saragos of Leon export. Are not available for export. Okay, so we can view the battle. All right. Now we have the region of Saragossa. There's the town. Let's just take a look at this. Now, oh, it's not allowing us to move around. Okay, so we're going to start the battle. We got our slingers. Peasants, Militia, Knights, Early Speedmen, and what do we have? Peasants, Militia, Early Knights, Early Knights. Okay, and there's the wall that has been breached, and he's got Light Bowmen, the Regular Foots, Raw Spearmen, and Irregular Foot, Light Javelin. Okay. He's all regular foot. Okay, good. So we'll just click this, start battle. Okay, range phase. That's who we're targeting. That's who they're targeting. All right. Oh, that's loud. Okay, at least in my headset. Okay. All right, now let's see if we can figure this out here. We have combat rating. Those guys against, we have combat rating of seven. Combat rating of seven, support bonus. Tired, fresh, recruit. We have a um, total rating of seven. Total rating is nine, salting. There's uh, Leon, assaulting Saragossa that has no. We have raw. Spearmen, we have Muslim Spearmen. Okay. Now we hit. Oh, 
All right. Nine against four. Right. What's next. Okay, four, nine, same again. Total rating, minimum roll, two, minimum roll, two. Okay. Oh, we took them out. That's 11 and 18. That's the total, 18, okay. Okay, next. Nine and four. We get two rolls. We 15 to eight. And all eight died. Okay. Not sure I'm gonna have to reread the rules on the combat because it doesn't make any sense. Stalemate, okay. These guys are still nine and four. Oh I lost everyone on that one, okay. Uh, pursuit phase, okay. All right, pursuit phase killed off that group. Okay, Leon won the battle, all right. Well, we were hoping he won the battle anyway, so let's go do the report. And we lost Slinger's effectiveness. It's effectiveness is down two. Raw Spearman effectiveness is down one. Here's the only one that we lost any effectiveness on. Okay. Killed all but these guys. Okay, next. Okay, maintain high national authority. Oh, look. Authority. We're now up. And Seville is leading in legacy. We're still 10th. Now, they said we don't want to be at the top. Our straightforward method to gain assets is to stay within your maximum device limits. Okay. Chances are very high that you succeeded in the assault. This concludes our tutorial where you learn the basics of movement, combat, managing a region's economy. However, there is much more to exploring kingdoms. Yeah, about 300 and some pages worth. We, met, we, met, yeah, we recommend trying your hand at the El Cid scenario, which is modest in size and perfect for practicing a bit more Before, before tackling the Grand Campaign, yeah, that's for sure. To get more in-depth information and tips, do not hesitate to consult the in-game help. Okay, great. And then our very complete game manual. Yes, there's no doubt about that. Very complete game manual. Okay. So there we go. We have finished the tutorial. Don't know what we've done. We conquered a couple of uh, areas and oh yeah I see now when you zoom in you can see they're striped and if they're striped what's this one uh, okay President Dumas has vanished thanks to good containment measures and courageous physicians now what is this all right Wonderful. Academic President simply on his vantage. Thanks. Good containment. Okay. Several signs tell us a few months 
particularly harsh and men in court, our strongest places of influence to other realm are to show of might for all to see. Huh. Okay. Okay. Regional decisions. All right. Uh, Huh. As Ray from the main land, ready to see it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. This is their whole of their scattered. Oh, sorry about that. I failed to mute my phone and you got to hear it going off. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, Rainy Muslim Seals closing of the relationship. Okay. Owls owned by Zaragoza, and Zaragoza has been destroyed by Leon, okay? Oh! Well... I'll just see this again. Alright, seven and nine. Let's see how we see how we do second time just to okay two what are these dots Beerman. uh defensive two charge breaker support bonus of two Of rating in nine. All right. Hmm. I don't know if it tells me anything. Killed them off like we did last time, and then these were blocks. What was their mate? And they die. Pursuit. Ooh, wiped them all out like we did last time, and now we won the battle. Check. All right, same exact. Same win and loss of Trouble Shades, okay. Unbreached Walls Garrison, Allied POW 25. All right, different one. Enemy towards land, garrison, defensive four units, forest, land cost, West Mediterranean weather zone. And I'm just gonna, do a little bit more of this. See what I'm seeing here. Okay.
Yeah, it's so seeing this one is, is part of Zaragoza. So I think I should move into here. season let's in the turn all right now what do we have here we have uh, received a new regional mercenary company and our strong old placement throughout our realm it might show others to see authority gained okay Now, let's see how we do. Besieged, walls, unbreached, two of two. So. What's that? Well, let's look at authority 51. Unbreached wall two of two looks about the same. Siege duration is uncertain. All right. I automatically sieges it when you move into the region. So I don't have to do anything else. Okay. If we besiege that, let's just see what happens. All right, this guy's come up. No change. Oh, okay. Well, besieging Erska Leon did not manage to inflict casualties on the defender. All right. Now I got trouble chase. All right, let's just say. Token is now standing at four progress points. What does this say? It says the practice of embellishment from the peer room administering court has been reported. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Let's just go to the next turn and see what happens. Oop, drop down another one. All right, what does this say? It says here that whatever Sevilla and whatever, uh, through marital expertise and the close of shrewdness, Sevilla has achieved this objective and declared the winner. Congratulations to the wise and spacious ruler. Okay. Winner of what? I'm just going to hit next turn and see what happens. Okay, it seems you have not yet played a regional decision. Top right button near the end turn button, shortcut R. Regional decisions are very handy tools to be issues of your nation. Be sure to try them. Be aware they all have a cost. A regional decision, top right button, near end turn button. Okay. Oh, 
Weasel. There we go. Hmm. Let's see, attracting migrants. Okay, let's see. Priest, local. This decision uh, is assured to remove one implement of law of hostile people or troublesome. The region must have an implement that can be removed with this decision. Okay. Okay, let's see here. He's 52. He breaches. A breach, but the city is still resisting. Okay. All right. Now we have. What's this say? Defender, attacker, breach, besiege. Okay. That's what we're still doing. system does increase chances. Right. Okay, my lord Tupido. No, where is it? But you continue to play as long as you wish. Yeah, well we know that. Uh, okay. Great details, two armies. He was empty. Okay. It's telling me that no, it told me that we needed to build better sanitary conditions. Cattle ranch. Optimize food storage. That's one of them. All right. House system. Okay. So we want to do that. Health system. Uh, flax field, beekeeper, poultry farm, sheep herder, what do we have? Piety. 
Yeah. Storyteller, shanties, crown crier, hamlet, cottages. Religious person, monks, Christians, similar to heretics, cultivate large scale mini herbs. Yeah, well, that would be good. This is monastery, tithe barn, priest, lord chapel. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, armored watchtower, weapons workshop. So I'm just looking to see if we have something in here that would be better for Stone Quarry, Clay Pit, Smokehouse, Surface Mining. No, nope, so far nothing. Okay, well, let's go back to here. Okay, what's that? Eight turns? Yep. Okay. Fine. All right, the spots are needed for greater as the Lord of the a construction of a reinforced palisade. All right. You receive a new regional decision. Gain character. Okay. All right. Gain character. So region is clicked and the decision played. You can cancel it by right clicking. Huh. That's what you do. And determine where you want these to go. I see. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just leave that for now. And harsh season. Let's see. If we breach the walls, we can have another battle. Right. Okay, unbreached walls. Good. We breached all the walls, apparently. Yep, we know that, my lord. Uh, badly on your authority, huh? Yeah, I ain't worried about that for now. All right. Towards the land, okay. All right, now we can choose assault. All right, next. City assaults, okay. Well, so we're gonna view the battle, all right. Looks kind of familiar. Ranged phase. Wow, oh, that's loud. I'm gonna to have to turn down that SFX. Can I do that here? Oh, crap. Well, kind of hit escape, kind of won that battle. All right. Oh, ascending minor. All right, well. They've already won the game. Our nation is on the rise under the rule effectively and without any corruption is now known as Ascending Minor Reno of Leon. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we will call that it. And uh, we will just back to the options here. Where is that? I can turn this down just a little bit. We'll have to wait for the first battle that we can export to uh, Medieval. And let's go back. Back to the main menu. And that will be it. Uh, we've finished the tutorial. 
next time we will uh, go to a scenario which they claim is the El Cid scenario, which uh, we'll try. And because it's relatively small and it's early, and we'll see what happens. We'll play it unbalanced or easy. We ain't playing it on these guys, suicidal, insane. No, no, and no, and no, and no. We don't care whether we really win from now on. What we care about is that we don't get beat. <laughs> Makes sense. So that will be all for next time. Thanks for joining me for finishing up the tutorials. Uh, we'll start the El Cid campaign next time. And please join me for that. And as always, I'm Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.